guys, it's Ronald from Brand Moto. Today we're gonna to do something a little different. We're gonna do a conversion this time. So it's gonna be a uh, 2015 Q50. We're gonna convert the front bumper into a Q50S. So it's gonna be a sports type front bumper. Let's see how it goes. All right, so now we're gonna take off the accessories on the front bumper. We're gonna start off with, well on this one, we're not gonna take this off because that's gonna to be totally brand new. I'm going to take off the clips on the bottom. I'm going to start off with a flathead on that one. So take that off, it's fairly easy. Just get a flathead and just go to the back end. Lift up and push out. So again, go to underneath of the bumper, put that flathead in there. So the next step is taking off this bracket right here that goes where the headlight is and where the grill on top is. So basically how you take that off is going to be a 10 millimeter right here. So it's going to be a 10. So you just take that off like that. This one's broken. I'm gonna replace that on Tuesday. I can't get a bracket, but a uh, customer needs it for work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, but I'm gonna have to replace this on Tuesday. So again, that's gonna be just two 10 millimeters right there. I'm gonna do that on the other side. So again, get a 10 millimeter. This bolt got a little stuck, so take it off. Unless you have the bracket. So now we're gonna take off the fog lights, and it looks like it's gonna be with some screws and a 10 millimeter. Well, we'll start off with the 10 millimeter right here on the upper, uh, I guess, turn signal light. It just comes right off with the uh, two 10 millimeters. So now you're gonna need the uh, fog lights on the bottom. So it's gonna be a screwdriver. Looks like this. Another one right here. So the screws look like this. And there's three of them. I think it should come right off now. With a flathead, we're gonna go and take this off also. On this conversion, we don't need this uh, fog light cover. So we're gonna have to have a new one, but if you wanted to take this one off, just push down on these tabs. So while I was pushing down on those tabs, I was actually pulling also on the uh, fog light cover itself. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat that steps on the other side. Now the next step is taking off this grill. It's basically uh, 10 millimeters going across. Now this. So there's two, four, six, eight of these uh, screws. Or nuts so now there's going to be tabs 
right here. And all you do is push down on them. It's gonna be one right here, and then two right here, and then there's like four on top. So again, the tabs I'm talking about is right here. So you just push down on them, and then you push this down, and then the glow should come off. So there's like one, two right here on the bottom, and then there's four. One, that's a broken one, that's two, that's three, and that's also broken, and a fourth one. And that's how your grill comes off. The last thing to take off is this uh, rubber piece on top. And, they, and they're like double stick taped on, but we're just gonna pull it off. And there's like these um, pins that just comes right off. So there's a rubber piece on top and these pin looking things. So sometimes they don't come off, you just gotta push down them right here. But yeah. It. We don't we don't reuse the grill on the bottom piece because that one's gonna be different again. But if you want to take it off, I you just pull up on it. All right, that's all we need on this bumper. We're gonna go ahead and get the uh, Q50S front bumper. Let's see the difference. So we're gonna start off with the fog light. So we're gonna start off with that new bezel. So on the S, uh, S type or the sports version of the uh, Q50, you're gonna have a brand new bezel. So see as you can see right there, they deleted the chrome piece. So it's gonna be also a one piece uh, trim panel. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on. So line up the holes. And then the clips right here. And then push up on it. And it should lock into place. And we're gonna go ahead and put these clips on. Basically, how you can determine this is the right fog light is that. So on that one, you gotta, these are your guide points right here. So basically there's gonna be one hole right here and one hole right here. So then those uh, points should line up with, it, with those uh, guide points basically. So that's how you can determine the right fog line. So go ahead and put that on there, just like that. Then go ahead and screw it into place. Now we're gonna put this piece back on. So I'm just making sure that it's the right one. Basically, it's also a marking. Right there. So I'll tell you if it's the right side, which is the passenger side, or the left side, which is the driver's side. So now we're gonna put our clips back on. Again, on the new bezel, you're gonna have this screw. That's, you're gonna have to buy at the local dealership, basically. So again, on the new bezel, you're gonna have that screw on the bottom also, and then one over here. That just helps hold up the, uh, the fog light bezel on the new bumper. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So always put that bezel in first. Make sure the lines line up, and also the prongs line up before pushing it in. I'm gonna put these clips in first. Okay. Remember, line up that uh, guide in those holes. There's holes right there and a hole right there. That's how you know it's uh, 
done correctly. Next, the turn signals. Put these clips down first. So on here, slide it in first like this. And then you hear click. And you can go ahead and put that uh, bolts in. So again, you're gonna need these screws. That was for the uh, fog lights. You can get those at the local dealership. But basically, with the new bezel, you're gonna have to put those on this side, up here, and then one more back here. So now the next step is putting the lower grill on. So basically, make sure like these prongs right here line up with the holes all around. Make sure those are lined up first. So we're gonna put that grill on. So this is the old grill, but go ahead and take off the emblem. Basically, you just go ahead and push on this portion right here. And that emblem comes off. So basically, you're just pushing on the sides of it. So here's our new emblem, uh, I mean new grill. So here's our new grill. The customer blacked it out, but it's usually chrome. So basically, uh, on this one right here, you're just gonna go ahead and line it up with the holes. So you're gonna line up. So on the grill, basically what you're doing is lining up these nuts and also this prong right here, all around the, uh, all around the grill and just lining it up with the holes. And don't press down until those are all lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it upside down. So once all the palms are lined up, you can go ahead and push up on it. It's gonna click. Now we're gonna go ahead and put those screws on. So I like to hand tighten them first. Go ahead and tighten it up with a 10 millimeter. Uh, don't force it, just hand tighten it. You don't have to tighten it too hard because you might break the uh, actual prongs. Hand tighten it, once, once you feel like it's uh, tightened, just go ahead and let it, let it be. So next up is gonna be the weather stripping. Right there. So all I did was I just put a new 3M uh, double stick tape basically for the trims. So I can go ahead and put it back on. So what you're gonna do first is line up these uh, clips with the holes. So once you figure out that's gonna be the right direction, go ahead and take off. So take a portion of that off. Not all the way. Press down, and as you go, go ahead and move your tape, and then we'll stop pressing down, so we make sure that that tape sticks on the uh, bumper. 
Our next step would be putting on the support brackets. So usually this one has like these uh, guide points right here, but this one's broken. But again, we're gonna replace it later on. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it on. So this is what it looks like on the other side. Basically you have that uh, support on there. And then go ahead and get your bolts and then tighten it up. So this one's good to go. We'll go on the other side. So here's a better angle. So these prongs right here go into this hole right here, like that. And then they snap into place. Once they snap into place, get your 10 millimeters bolts. Hand tighten first and tighten those up. So now we're gonna put those clips on. So it looks like this. Basically, the flat portion, it goes on the bottom like this. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put this all over the bumper. All right, so that's how the bumper is installed with all the accessories. Now we're ready to go ahead and put this back on the car. All right, guys. So that's how you turn a Q50 to a Q50S front bumper. Very easy conversion. You only needed the front bumper, the lower grille, the fog light uh, bezel, and also some additional screws. But again, we're gonna link that uh, all the parts that you guys need on the description below. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to us. Turn on that push notification and let us know any other conversion you guys want us to try out so we can put that video out there for you. Uh, again, if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts, go to redmoto.com for all your pre-painted auto body needs. Thank you.